and advances to the West Coast Conference quarterfinals, where they will meet top seed BYU tomorrow at noon. Uh, we're joined by head coach Ryan Weisenberg, student athletes Yasmin robinson Baycoat, and Allie Green. Coach, we'd like to start with you, please, and your thoughts on the win. Um, you know what, I'm really excited. Great team win. Uh, we talk about three things. We talk about our focus, we talk about our communication, and we talk about our effort. Our effort is always about 98 to 100%. I mean, we play like our hair's on fire all the time, which is amazing. Um, but our, our communication and, and our focus today were great. They followed the game plan. You know, we did what we needed to do against a really good Pacific team. Thank you, Coach. We'll take questions uh, from media members. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get you a mic. And we'd like to start with student athletes first, please. Sarah. Sarah Cazell, the W.TV. Um, Yasmin, you were really hot starting off and cooling off Pacific in the third quarter. Uh, not to mention you had a great game against LMU last week. Where is this heat? Where is this surge coming from from you? Uh, it's all about the preparation, just going in every practice, going against all of the players on the team, just working hard and trying to prepare them so that I prepare myself, staying aggressive, always looking to score. And that was key, and it showed in the game. And just being aggressive is key to everything. John. Yeah, uh, John Krumpacker from the West Coast Conference for Ali. Uh, what, did you have to, what did you do specifically as a team in the fourth quarter to hold uh, Pacific off after they had narrowed your uh, lead to about two points, I believe? Um, well, we discussed as a team, we just need to stay together at that point. As Coach said, our communication was very well today, and I think that was key to our win. We kept our heads, we communicated, we missed a few free throws, but um, we picked it up on defense, and I think just all around those key things helped us for our win today. I'll take questions for Coach Weisenberg or student athletes. Sarah? Sarah Cazell, W.TV. With both of the Agumake sisters out, uh, your two leading scorers, what kind of confidence does that give you knowing that even without them, you can still roll on Pacific? You know, and it's, uh, the, we've talked about this as a team, and it gives the, uh, the girls an opportunity to really step up. And Allie's done a phenomenal job, and Yaz has done a phenomenal job of stepping up. But it's been a, a whole team effort. And, um, you know, it, it's tough losing the Agumake sisters. But again, it gives opportunity, and, and the girls have really not only stepped up to the challenge, but, um, you know, have exceeded it. And we're really excited to see what we do against BYU tomorrow. So. Sorry, quick follow-up. Do we have an injury update on either of them? You know, it's a game-time decision. Um, they, they are under the best treatment, so we're really excited about it. So I would, I would, I'm hoping and praying and, uh, you know, everything goes well and, and we get them out on the floor. So we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. John, do you have another question? Yeah, right. What exactly is their, uh, their injuries? I, for those of us who don't... Um, you know what? I'm... I would love to tell you what the injuries are, but I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not supposed to. They're. They're not anything that are absolutely major. But um, they have been doing, like I said, great rehab. We've got a phenomenal athletic trainer, um, and hopefully, she's going to have them ready to rock and roll tomorrow for us. We'll go to Olivia in the back. Give us one second to get you a microphone. Coach, maybe just comment last week about Tia and Yasmin today. Both of these sports teams excited that brings for the future of the program. Um, you know what? <laughs> the, the freshmen, the soft, everybody has really stepped up. Um, Paige, Paige is one of the best to watch because she plays like a, a ball of energy. Um, and she's a fan favorite. You know, whenever you're five foot four um, and you're weaving in and out and you're hitting big threes and you're setting your teammates up and, and your defense, you're playing players that are usually bigger than you and you're really standing tall in there, I think, you know, she's fun to watch. And, Yaz has really come on. Um, we've been excited and we've seen her, we've watched the progress with her from day one. And um, again, she goes New Jersey beast mode in there. You know, it's, um, she, she's difficult to defend and, and she's extremely long. You don't realize how long she is. And when she's out there defending, I know she gives fits to the other team. So, um, you know, again, future is extremely bright. We are really excited to match up against BYU tomorrow. And I, I'm really excited to watch them play. Anything else for Pepperdine? One more from Sarah. Yeah, this can be for all three of you. What exactly are you going to hone in on tomorrow with BYU? Ladies, would you like to answer this? Or? <laughs> I'll answer. Um, I think a key element for tomorrow is the rebounding, boxing out. They have one of the top rebounders in our conference, I know, so I, that's going to be a uh, key for tomorrow as a win. Yes. Okay. okay, just keying in on defense, like Ali said, just making sure that we control the boards and try to push when we can, and that's going to be... Uh, crucial for us to win and stay in the game. And I, 
I know Jeff's going to do a phenomenal job of game planning for us. We've got to take take Lexi and not allow her to go nuts on us. And Kalani, you know, you've got Player of the Year and Newcomer of the Year. Um, we've got to do a great job on them and then really take their role players out of the game. So we'll mix some things up. We've got some tricks up our sleeves. We've been thinking about the game for a week now. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to do everything we possibly can to, uh, to disrupt their little celebration on this nice run they're going with. So it's going to be fun.